Welcome to part two of our devotion for today. Apologies, apparently uh, the voice cut out on me today. I think what the problem was, my, my alarm to wake up this morning went off, and so after that went off, uh, I lost volume for the rest of the devotion. So part two, uh, so you don't have to practice your lip reading anymore. Part two. Um, so yeah, as this story um, goes, they pour all the uh, water on the altar, 12 jars, and then um, Elijah prays to God, and he doesn't even pray for fire. He just says, God, show, show these people who you are. And as soon as he does that, fire just comes down from the sky. Um, the whole altar is just completely burned up. Uh, God shows his amazing power, and the people shout, The Lord, he is God. The Lord, he is God. Um, and then they uh, um, hear the, the prophets, uh, the false prophets are, are put to death. There's, there's the slain. Um, and the, the people shout, the Lord, he is God, the Lord, he is God. Very amazing story. Hope that you got to read through it, even though uh, the devotion cut off on us. Um, amazing story, and one of my favorites, but uh, for a lot of different reasons, you see God's power. Uh, but also, I, I just really enjoy how Elijah uh, goes to bat for God. You know, because Elijah's really on an island by himself here. Uh, the 800 prophets, false prophets against him. Uh, the people, silent, certainly weren't uh, going to bat for God on the fence, wishy-washy. Elijah went to bat for God. He said, no, I'm, even though I'm on an island all by myself, I know who God is. He is my God. He is the, the all-powerful, all-knowing God. And he goes to bat for him. Uh, not being afraid to, to stand out on that island and uh, stand up for God. And why does he do that? And, you know, think about... You know, in your life, isn't that a great feeling when somebody goes to bat for you? You know, somebody's got your back. If it's a um, a boss who says, you know, I value your work, and if if this person goes, then then I go too. You know, you know that person has your back, or a family member, whoever. When somebody um, sticks up for you, that's a good feeling, right? You know, that's what Elijah does here um, here for God, showing the, the maturity of his faith. But then, why does he why does he do it, right? It's because God is, God's got our back. God's went to bat for us. You know, just think about Jesus. What an island he was on, right? Completely forsaken by God as he hung naked on a tree. He was on an island. He was all alone. But why did he do it? Because he valued us too much. And he wanted to go to bat for us. He said, no, I value value you too much and I'm going out on this island to go to bat for you and so yes out of that that motivation knowing that God has done that for us then that motivates us to be like Elijah to stick out because let's be let's be real it, it happens in this world right where we're on an island it can feel like we're on an island when I'm at work or when I'm in the community um, maybe when I'm with my family sometimes even um, where the world and the temptations just seem to be caving in all around us. And, and sometimes I'm on that island, and how do I respond? Well, I pray that this account allows us to be motivated to respond like Elijah, um, going to bat for God because of what he's done for us. Let's pray. Dear Lord, we thank you for um, this beautiful day, the blessings that you give to us. Above all, we thank you for uh, having our back, for valuing us so much that you're willing to go out on an island, all, all alone, forsaken by God even, and dying, valuing our lives, our eternal lives with you. Help us to be motivated by that to then go out on an island for you, to live our lives out of faith and service and glory to you. We pray that you give us the strength to do so now and every day. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, no real more announcements for today. Uh, God's blessings on your day.